what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel just a short and sweet video today a few people still ask me about player of the week i know a lot of people are still downloading and playing this game for you know for new that they haven't actually played the game before and they've downloaded within the last month or so right so this is basically where these cards are aimed at or who these cards are aimed at they are player of the week and their selections and they're called encore stars so they're the best kind of selection of previous player of the week cards that have been released so it's just a collection of 32 players as you see here Musiala is a demon Diaz is really really nice as well Rodrigo Leao there's a couple of nice cards in here but only specifically if you haven't been playing the game for too long or if you missed out on a specific card but even the likes of Ben White the likes of Son the likes of Valverde Leao Musiala Rodrigo Lewandowski Kyle Walker there's been multiple versions of cards that are either similar slightly worse or slightly better over the last six months right so anywhere from back here i would say goretzka is quite decent he's okay i'm not even going to go into his stats too much um but anywhere from back here i would say from these two boys here the goalkeeper i mean we need i think even put in these three boys as well barons hanko des goretzka is a little bit of of of, uh, of a special one because he's got the booster which is going to give him a booster to his passing plus three and obviously you can't train these cards you can't reset them you can't train them a different way they are what they are 68 acceleration is not that good for a box to box defensively he doesn't go into past 85 with any stats even with the booster but he's got some nice player skills he doesn't have blocker defensively but he does have interception of fighting spirit so it's an okay card but anything from past here i would say including these two boys here right so you're talking about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you're talking about 20 players here i would say do not spin and waste 100 coins on any of these unless you specifically want a certain card, right? I'm not going to tell you that Barnes isn't going to be good for you if you play him and you use him as a winger, but there are as equally good options in the GP marketplace, which you can get after maybe playing the game for like 20 minutes, right? He's got good dribbling, but bad ball control and tight possession for a winger. He's also only got 76 balance, which is way below what you need if you're looking to have a prolific winger and just spread out wide playing out wide and we'll have a video on that coming quite soon right the rest of his stats are pretty decent i mean these cards were good these player of the week cards but anywhere past here i mean i would not recommend spinning for i mean guler is nice he's down as a center forward as well but he has the same issues with a couple of these stats that other cards in this selection has as well it's an okay card but there's been equally as good versions of Guler. And also, we're going to be getting probably a new version of him with eFootball 2025 within maybe the next month or so, right? Um, Endo is nice there as a DMF as well if you missed out on him. But again, they'll probably bring out a new pack with him in it. So any of these, it's going to be left up to yourselves. I wouldn't be looking at this pack and saying, there's 20 players in here that are not really worth spinning for. I think you're going to have to go for, um, you know, the top 8 to 10 players, right? And even at that... Ben White, you can get him for free with the event. I already have a video on that. Um, ben White, you can already get him there in the Arsenal Showtime one. It's either him, Havertz, or Jorginho. I would recommend Ben White. It's still a decent card, but it's nowhere near as good as the card that you can get for free. And it only takes you about 20 minutes to do that. Kyle Walker, this is actually a beast of a card. I actually got him on my free-to-play account because obviously you get free coins every now and again. I got him on my free-to-play account and he is an absolute beast. He's so good defensively. He's down as a destroyer CB. He's got everything you could possibly want. Nice height, nice weight, nice distribution of the ball as well. Even though his low pass is 77, you can kind of get away with that as a, a CB. And his defensive stats, that makes up for it. His speed over 95 makes up for it, even though speed has been refined a little bit. The rest of the players in this pack, Jean Neves, obviously the wonder kid, He's got fairly decent stats as well. He kind of plays like Pedri. But honestly, GP Pedri is going to be as good as him, if not a little bit better when you train him up. And of course, we also have Vitinha and Son. So Son is always a popular choice. His speed, his kicking power, his stamina, his dribbling, his tight possession and his finishing, all going to be around the 90 mark. He's got also got the booster, the shooting booster as well. And of course, he's got some nice player skills, true passing, first time shot. I just play him out wide uh, if you're playing him out wide looking for, you know, non-scoring. But center forward with 90 finishing, he is goal poacher. This is one of the most unique sun cards if you've missed out on a really good sun card, right? But the rest of the pack, lads, honestly, I mean, it's a lot of hit and misses, even for the players that are in there. You've got a whole player, Vitinha, good balance, good acceleration, tight possession, but poor finishing. And his passing is quite good, but it's probably overkill compared to his speed. So there's a lot to dislike about these cards as well. Valverde, always a solid choice. CMF, RR, uh, right winger. Unwavering form. You could play a right winger here with Valverde. He's going to be really defensive, really defensive minded. 
He has interception and aerial superiority. It's a very nice card. But again, at this stage in the game, boys, I really don't recommend going for the player of the weeks unless you're like, oh, I'd love center forward Rodrigo, who's got a deep line forward um, build with him here. He's got flip flap soul control and double touch, super sub. This is a really fantastic card. And this is definitely a Romario esque. Uh, alternative right he's definitely Romario-esque in terms of his height his weight how he handles on the pitch he's not as good as Romario but he will take up those positions the only thing is as a deep line forward you should already have Neymar from the penalties and these are very similar players in how you need to play with them but Rodrigo is more direct balance tight possession finishing and of course acceleration all into the 90s hitting those thresholds with the max booster you can't train any stats on him or skills on him obviously but he has everything apart from outside curler which is fantastic and that's probably the pick of the pack this card we also have Lewandowski I don't rate Lewandowski in this game too much the game just does not suit him but he's a fairly decent goal scorer as a booster Rafael Leao there's been better versions of him but as a booster whole player it's a very unique card as well really nice player skills so I don't recommend spinning for this pack but if you do, they're the top picks to get. If you get any of the top six here, and I'll even throw in Kyle Walker into that, it's a pretty decent pack and son. There's probably about eight players in here worth it. Rodrigo, uh, Leao and Valverde, Musiala, for me, Musiala is one of the best AMFs in the game. I don't think this is his best card, but it is still a fantastic card. You're going to have lofted pass, low pass, and finishing all around the 85, 90 mark. Ball control, dribbling, and tight possession, and acceler acceleration all over 90. Insane. And he's got super sub as well. A lot of these cars actually are kind of like impact players off the bench. So when you look at them through that lens, they do take on a bit of a life of their own. Again, Diaz, really big upgrade if you don't have a prolific winger so far and you can get him in a spin or two. But other than that, there are probably better wingers that you can get for the GP marketplace. So yeah, let's look. All in all, I feel like every week we do this player of the week, it's the same story. But it is because there's, there's nothing new being added to the game until eFootball 2025. I think they need to revamp this. We've said it once. We'll say it 50 other times. But yeah, there are some good players in here. If you're stuck, you have a couple of coins that you want to spin for. Rodrigo is the man to go for here. If you get him in maybe five or six spins, you can clear the box. Is it worth going through and, you know, sifting through 20, 22, 24 players that are just not going to make it into your team past a week or two? That's up to you guys. Depends how much money you want to put in. But yeah, if Rodrigo has got in the first few spins, beastly. But other than that, I think it's a bit of a skip. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree or disagree? And I'll talk to you in a bit.